So about the last question which we posted, that is why is local anesthesia less effective in cases of infection? Now I know most of you know the answer, but I'll just give a quick explanation for the same. Now in this diagram we know that the site of local anesthesia or local anesthetic is always believed to be the nerve membrane, that is the afferent nerve fibers. Okay. Now generally in the nerve cells we have something which is called sodium channels or sodium receptors or sodium ions. Okay. Now why are these sodium channels important? Because it is only because of the influx of the sodium ions into the nerve which results in the generation of action potential and what happens after the generation of action potential there will be the conduction of nerve impulse which can be sent to the brain and it is perceived as pain right but how local anesthetics <coughs> act is that after the administration of local anesthetics what they do is they decrease the permeability of the nerve membrane to the sodium positive ions okay after decreasing the permeability obviously it will impede the influx of the sodium ions into the nerve and obviously which will prevent the conduction of the impulse and thus prevents any kind of excitation along the neural pathway and gives rise to anesthesia i hope all of us this know this right now what happens is when we all know that local anesthesia the or the anesthetics they are weak bases so they exist in two forms that exist in equilibrium that is the rn and the rnh positive now rn when we see the rn1 is the uncharged form okay this is the deionized form and the active free base form which is basically lipid soluble this is very important so this one rn would be the lipid soluble form okay the second part is the rnh positive which is the charged or the ionized form which is not lipid soluble okay so this is not lipid soluble and once we see here we have two things to remember first of all the solubility that is rn is lipid soluble rnh positive is not lipid soluble another thing is because rn is lipid soluble it is able to cross the nerve membrane and enter into the neuron right but since it's not lipid soluble that is the rnh positive it is not able to the cross the nerve membrane so only rn will be able to cross the nerve membrane one second point is that only the rnh positive this rnh positive will be able to bind to the sodium channels here which will block the nerve conduction that means rn will not be able to bind since it's uncharged or the deionized form only rnh positive will be able to bind okay so rn will cross the nerve membrane right and rnh positive will bind to the sodium channel receptor this we need to remember now after that once uh, we administer like for example this is the normal 7.4 pH okay it's not in case of infection this is the normal pH right so in this case we have some amount of H positive ions but not many okay now in this case what happens is this RN these RNH positive <laughs> ions what we have is out of which because obviously RN and RNH positive both are there they tend to combine together to form RNH positive. Now since here we have not many ions but a comparable or less comparable to as that of infection right. So in this case 750 RNH positive ions are there out of which 250 RN which will be stable. They won't be combining uh, with it positive. They are in the non-ionized form. So this, these 250 RN molecules they will be able to cross the nerve membrane now these 250 once they cross the nerve membrane they pick up the h positive ions in this and combine to form rnh positive right now out of which this 180 so for example out of 250 180 rns rnh positive will bind to the sodium channel receptor and they block the nerve conduction i hope this is clear this is the normal situation now in cases of infection here we see now we know infection we have an acidic pH why because of the inflammatory byproducts right the pH becomes 6 so obviously 6 there would be more amount of H positive ions right so here what we see is the H positive ions are less and here we'll see H positive ions are more 
now because the, of the presence of more amount of h positive ions there will be more amount of rn combining with rnh positive so there will be more amount of rnh positive ions as compared to the rn so here we see there are 990 rnh positive and only 10 rn molecules now as we know already discussed that RNH positive cannot cross the non-membrane. So only 10 RN molecules will be able to cross the non-membrane and out of which only 7.5 that is they combined upon RNH positive that 7.5 will be able to bind to the sodium channel receptor. Now in, as we see in this situation 180 RNH molecules are able to bind to the sodium channel receptor and block the nerve conduction and here only 7.5 are able to cross the non-membrane. So obviously in the second case there would be a delayed anesthesia and there would be a response which is very or which is less effective as compared to that of the normal situation. I hope it is clear.